So practically, I'm in my home. My significant other is probably at work for the entire evening, and I'm needing to have some dinner. And I'm sitting in my home with the woman who's a business friend and a special friend to me, who has sort of been hanging around me in the challenges of her life. She's in my home. It's coming, approaching dinner. I know we didn't have a lot of food for me to cook, and I'm not the best cook. So I basically say to her on an evening, early evening, might have been a Thursday. I'd have to look in my old schedule book to find it, but probably someone stole it and ruined it. But openly what I can say to you is I invited her to dinner. And I invited her to dinner for a lot of reasons. I wanted her to know how special she is to me. I wanted her to have a feeling that I valued when she took me out to lunch one time when she was in struggle but needed me. And when she and I and her child went, one of her children went, to a marvelous lunch and she paid ten dollars for me. When I took her to that dinner, I don't think she recognized that I had actually been working a side job just so I'd have extra cash around for doing those things with her and maybe with her children. I had a good couple hundred dollars on me that evening that I was pretty proud of having made it because I hated doing the job, but I was helping someone in my family when I did the work and made it legitimate. But it was cash set aside for those Jack and Jill opportunities when a man wants to show a girl a good time. She didn't eat a lot. I don't remember what she ordered. I remember she tried to share with me asparagus, which I absolutely love when it's really skinny and well cooked. But I didn't want to take the food away from her because I saw her getting too thin and I like a girl with a little bit of robustness in her. I also didn't want to be that way, but I also wasn't 100% sure how she felt about me. Definitely if I was there with my late spouse, we would have shared our dinner. She would have eaten off my plate. Totally okay. And I would not have cared if my new love interest did that with me. But openly I had enough money for wine, I had enough money for a good time, I had enough money for dessert. And hopefully I'd get a little chit, chit chat a little later. But we had a good time. And I remember sitting there listening to her talk about her life, her history, her story, her life story. The guy she should have made, might have married and maybe that wasn't the best decision or maybe it was. And when I remember just sitting there going, I'm just the happiest motherfucker on the planet of the earth. I can't believe I'm sitting here with the most stunningly beautiful woman of my entire fucking life outside my late wife. I cannot believe that the Lord has blessed me in this evening dinner when I have her 100% to myself where I can just listen to that voice tone that I love and just be madly falling every second of this dinner in love.